Okay everyone, welcome to the second portion of our installation and user guide. Um, we're going to log into Azure in here and just show you the three step process that it takes to uh, farm items using this guide. Very simple to do. Also, um, I'm going to follow along with the in, uh, installation instruction guide that we have using the same guide. Oh look, I got a little error, that's cool. Um, and then I'm also going to show you a little bit of something else, um, being that I'm right close to Elven Forest. That's going to be a little easier. So step number one is once you've got uh, Zygors loaded here, you're going to look for this button. It's the Select a Guide button. Um, when you click on Select a Guide, you may have to go to Guides right over here. Um, you're going to see this entire list here. What you're looking for is Ward of Warcraft Farming. That's going to give you a list of professions that you can select from. More professions uh, should be coming shortly. Uh, at this point, I'm going to click on Herbalism, and then I'm going to click on uh, Fade Leaf and King's Blood. All you want to do is click on the profession that you have that you intend to use in order to farm. You're going to need to make sure that you have the appropriate level uh, in order to farm the item that you're looking for. But the, the guides here are listed by item, so then look for the item Let's say you wanted uh, some gold clover. Um, you have two guides here to choose from. In this case, I'm going to look for fade leaf. And then once I've selected that, I want to look for selected guides and it read the entire list to make sure that I understand it. For example, this one's a little bit long and it may have some more information down here. Also, in the guide details, we'll tell you more about the guide itself. In this case, it's Fade Leaf King's Blood in the Western Plague Lands. You may find some other things, but those are the two items in specific that this guide was made for. Once that has been checked and you know that you have the right guide, click, uh, not click, sorry, check your status. Make sure it is a valid guide for you. The reason that Zygors does this is if I'm a human, as this character is, and I'm trying to access a gnome guide that's only for gnomes, it will say invalid. In other words, there's no reason for you to use that guide, it's not for you. But once it's valid, in this case all your farming guides should work for any of your characters, as you can see there, um, click on accept, and first thing it's going to do, so that's step one, step, well actually it's pre-step one, step one is it's going to tell you where you need to go. Um, in this case it's Western Plaguelands. So if I don't know where Western Plaguelands is, for example, I check my map and I say, oh, you know, I'm not sure, that's a lot of places. A little trick here you can do is just click on the next button and it will show you the ants that are your leveling path, that you, sorry, your uh, farming path that you're going to need to use. So then you know what zone it's in, you can click on that zone and it's gonna show you the ants that you need to go on. So this is simply step two. It's gonna show you here, collect fade leaves, collect King's Blood in this case, and it'll also give you a little note. You will need Herbalism 150 to use this guide. That information will also be in the description shortly, uh, so you know exactly what guide's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. Once you get to the path area, you just follow the path and you look on your mini map and you find the nodes that you have uh, that you're looking for. You're going to need to make sure that your, um, your professions allow you to find the items you're looking for. So I'm going to head it to Elwyn Forest and I'm going to show you this in use. Okay now I'm at Elwyn Forest you can see on my mini map here I've got the ants that show me exactly where I want to go. Um, if I zoom in here you see that there's a direction the ants show me that you know the, the path basically and you're going to see in this case a copper vein show up because that's the item that I'm looking to harvest. So I can just go over there and uh, use my mining pick, and grab that, and then continue on along with the path to show ex um, exactly where I should find my next item. If I follow the path, I'm going to get stacks and stacks of items. Um, no guarantees, but the reality is that uh, I've done this all a lot, and I'm very confident that this is the case. But Blizzard won't let me make guarantees, so there you have it. And. Uh, while my character dies horribly here, I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you shortly.